First Peter 1, 18, 21. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from, Amen. the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ. And now in Acts 20, 27, 28, confirms that the blood of Jesus and the blood of God is the same. It says, for I have not hesitated to proclaim to you the whole will of God. Keep watch over yourselves and all the flock of which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers. Be shepherds of the church of God, which he bought with his own blood. So let the church say amen to the glory of God. In Hebrews, God himself called Jesus God. Chapter 1, verse 8. But about the Son, he says, your throne, O God, will last forever and ever, and righteousness will be the scepter of your kingdom. And so in the book of Revelations 1, 17, John said, when I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead, as though dead. And he placed his right hand on me and he said, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I am the living one. I was dead and behold, I am alive forever and ever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. And so why should we believe this? Because it is the spirit of truth of the living God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And we have a Lord God Almighty that cannot lie. Amen. And he has shown us time and time and time again. So I want to thank you, Mr. Ron, for choosing our theme this year. And thank you for coming out to help us in support of our Men's Day program. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As you reflect on what was just read to you, stated, remember throughout this week to come, you represent God Almighty. Amen. That's very important. Especially when you're driving, you got that cross on the back of your window and somebody looking at you acting crazy. Right now, I'd like to bring up Brother Ron you ready? <laughs> yeah? What are you doing? <laughs> Getting ready. <laughs> One of the things for the MC is to try to keep things rolling as long as possible. That was just something I just want to throw in there right quick. <laughs> oh, but what we're, I am going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is bring up Four for Christ. We hope you all enjoyed the kickoff to Men's Day. Uh, we're doing a little something different this year. Um, I think you guys are embracing it pretty well, though. It's, it's just a warm-up. It's just a warm-up, a little something um, that we have from the Lord um, to be able to accommodate the men's day and not just, you know, a couple hours. We're doing it big this year, y'all. So we have another song for you. Um, as you heard the words, um, again, be reminded um, that he has shown you. And I, I loved the talk, Brother Ponce, um, to reinforce the fact that that is one point that most other religions disagree with us about is that Jesus is God. Man. Um, they may even acknowledge that Jesus existed. They may acknowledge him as a great prophet, but they don't acknowledge him as God. Each of those scriptural references was more evidence to prove that Jesus is God. He said it Amen. in his word. So I pray that you were blessed by those words today and by Amen. something throughout this morning. And then um, even beyond this morning as we prepare for this evening, um, we're going to bless you again, God willing, um, as you all come back.
pitter pat of little feet. Hallelujah. God bless you. see that there are men that will stand up and praise the Lord. Okay? And also have something good to eat this evening, okay? Something very good for you. 
So right now, we'll call up Brother Alfredo for the benediction. Uh, bow your heads for a word of prayer. Thank you, Father God, for Men's Day. I, I, I pray for the men here who has participated. I pray for the men in the audience. Also pray for our audience who's uh, witnessed this message, oh Lord. Uh, God willing, with these uh, brings bring, bring us back safely. In Jesus' name, we do pray. Amen. Amen. That's four o'clock, ladies and gentlemen, four o'clock. <laughs>